Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I have a uh, a tiny little bit of, I guess, apologizing to do, okay? I, at the end of the last video, I ended, I went and sold a bunch of stuff and I was messing around, flying around outside of Hogsmeade, just trying to plan on what, you know, what was to come. And I actually found the damn cats, the Neasles. They, I'll show you exactly where they were. They were over here, I think. Where were they at? Hmm. So I'm not going to show you exactly where they were because I don't remember. They were some damn where. May have been these. Nope, that's John Purple Toads. Where was it at? It was somewhere at random. Was it over here? Yeah, yeah, it was right here. Yes, Neasel Den, right there. Okay, I found some Neasels. Hell, I didn't even get this fast travel point. Yeah, I found some Neasels. I kidnapped four of them and I brought them back here. And in doing so, that let me get the level three traits. See, so yeah, I've got, uh, let's scroll down. I've got six Neasel fur left. So it let me get the level three traits. And as far as I know, they stack. So I'm just going to stack. I haven't killed, fought anybody with this, right? But I put Unforgivable 3, significantly increased damage dealt to cursed targets. I put it on every single piece of my gear. That's what we did. Some might say brilliant. I might agree. We need graph horns, though. That's one thing we don't have. But yeah, so... Uh, there's a good chance that we absolutely shit on everybody. I mean, we we already have been, to be honest. But uh, things, you should be proud of all uh, the you know potions what? you've brewed. Appreciate it, Deke. Deke has been hyping your boy up for how long? Deke loves potion making. Jesus Christ, Deke. Some would say potion making makes Deke leak. <laughs> uh, this. All right, we need 13 moons for that guy, and we have not a lot. Four. <laughs> so, yeah, we're fucked. And we've got gobstones left over. Okay, so we're not doing that. I will never, I promise you, I will never do this right here. You will not see me finish this mission. Promise. It's time for some old gobbledygook. Um, is this the closest? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. We had to find somebody that speaks gobbledygook. Gobbledygook. Revelio. Of course, I remember there was something that dings here, but I don't know exactly where it is still. There's also a, um... Oh, fuck off, Pete. Oh, son of a bitch. Crucio. I hate Peeves. Oh, God, I wish we could kill Peeves. There's also a uh, side mission up here that we may pick up. There's the damn butterfly for the shit downstairs. Hello there. Hello there. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do this because I'll never remember to do it again. Lumos. Come with me. Let's go ahead and handle this. Most of these paintings are these picture shits I don't care about. All right, we're not gonna 100% these, but 100% this has to go right here. Ta-da. Appreciate it. Also, I've been reading other people play. Oh, before I even say that, Janae decided to download this game last night. She doesn't, Janae's not a gamer, okay? She doesn't play story games. She played, she played Animal Crossing. She played Disney's Dreamlight Valley. And that's like the pretty much the only two games she's ever like played, played. 
So she downloaded this last night at like 9 p.m. I fell asleep on the couch. I went and got into bed, and then she came to bed at like 5 a.m. Like she got her first like actual gaming. Hello there. She got to to learn what it's like to be an absolute no life gamer. Hello, Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. All right. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Okay, fair. I was about to say, yeah, you better leave. Because if you just sit there and... Keep looking through that telescope. I feel like you might have been lying. Good God. He's going to meet me here. This motherfucker looks like. Oops. Looks like he could barely survive on his own. He's going to go this far away from. Hmm. He might not make it, y'all. He might not make it. And this guy's going to see me cast all kinds of forbidden spells. It's like a place right out of a story book. Okay, here we go with this shit. Have I sold all my stuff? Hang on. Oh, this is that old nice salty bitch. Likewise. What do you have for sale? What you got? What are we looking for today? Also, one thing I can... I vividly remember this Thank from you for stopping when me. I was sleeping, I right? Appreciate. I'm laying on the couch. I hear Janae playing. She was skipping the fuck out of dialogue. <laughs> I just remember people going, oh, that sounds great. Oh, you should wait until the time is. Wow, that's a that's all I heard. <laughs> so I don't even know if she knows what the hell's going on in the game, but she was definitely, definitely skipping all kinds of dialogue. Like a true gamer, to be honest. Yo, Stonehenge? What the hell is this? A Merlin trial? Yep. Y'all go ahead and fucking face. Y'all roll your damn eyes. Oh, God. He never does. He never finishes the main mission. Uh. Uh. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I actually don't know how to complete this. I've never seen these before. Here we go. We'll just cast every. Oh, it's purple. Why is it purple? Does it make me want me to. Hmm. Looking for clues. I'm not going to spend too long on this. If I don't see exactly what I have to do. They're definitely purple. And I can climb them. Oh, it's a parkour challenge. I would have never thought this. Huh. Merlin, you you my dumbest shit, brother. Challenge complete, Merlin trials. Looks like we get a little bit more inventory space. There we go. Amazing. Collected all this other shit, yep. What are we talking about? No beast. 
there. On to a Lord Gok. That's a cool looking thing. Another Merlin trial. Revelio. See if I can see what this was going to be. Oh, here's <laughs> a pleasant surprise. Let's oh. oh. get the flu. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I've always said that about you. I've always said you always said that. I'm gonna pop these balloons. Sorry. You know, I apologize. But I don't really. Okay. I'm gonna have to do it at some point. So just go ahead and get it out the damn way. And I can land on that on the way back. Bop. Ta -da. There you go. That wasn't too painful. Y'all relax. Lord Gawk! Revelio. Give me one second, sir. I remember seeing a chest right over here. Just, uh, just hop on down here. There we go. I'm sure this is an elevator, so I should probably just wait. So I don't die trying to get that, okay? Lord Gok! A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Hmm. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Wow. You said this would repair the chasm between the two of you. How did you not expect him to react this way? I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Damn right. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why huh. does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. You but probably want to help my him. friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I am. Um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lord Gok. Just Lord Gok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What? What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. 
either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Oh, God. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. We gotta do some stealth shit. You know how bad I suck at this. I shall see you soon. Yep. You ready to go get caught a million times? <sighs> I meet. Revelio. I mean, there's a chest over here. You don't know. You don't know a lot about me. But I don't just leave chests unlooted. That's not how I was raised, to meet. But it's not how I was raised. You see this chest up here? Watch this. Search. See that? That's how. That's how it's done, Amit. Revelio. Amit, for some reason, I feel like you're probably into feet. What do you think? Safe travels, my young friends. <laughs> I also need all the damn moonstone I can get. The door is looking at us. Okay. We've seen this shit before. Where'd we go? Surprise, you dumb bitch! That's a dope screenshot. Where is that? Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Revelio. Why don't you speak a little lower? Okay? I'm trying to be stealthy and you're in here screaming. I cannot believe I met Good a friend. goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Well, this is actually down, not forward. Revelio. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Akio. Nice. <laughs> that was cool. I like that. Revelio. Lots more. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Get your ass on this damn platform. There we go. Keep your wits about you, Amit. I'll get you through this mine. Yes, of course. Keep your wits about you, all right? Check this out. Traficus Tetros is sure to appreciate the extra- Shut the fuck up! By the way, holy shit! Places. Defender. What? That was a little more than I'm used to. It took so much damage! I'll get safely, Amit. You have my word. That's another eyeball door. No problem. Revelio. Just looking for chests and shit. Is it just me or they took an absolute ass whooping? Being watched by a door. Hey, what does this do? Akio. Did it do something? Did it stop the water flow? It did not. It won't get through as long as we can be seen by that Did it pull? Eye. Maybe I need to push it. The pulse Maybe not. Let me try again. Akio. I should use disillusionment. Bitch, I know what I'm doing. I won't see a thing. Oh my god, thanks. I was trying to see if there was a way. Hi. Gotcha, bitch. Great up top. Some shit over here. A little bit of this Get action. Up. 
I do want to get up there, but I don't know how. Revelio. Looks like we'll probably come back through here. Right? From another room. So I need to be on the lookout I feel for like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. Hmm. You mean like those right there on the table? Plans around here somewhere. There's a lot of goblins up top. Let's just go ahead and get these. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Revelio. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? I don't know, but let's stay low for a bit. Is this where he came in? Am I completely dumb? No. Right, here's another schematic. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Okay. Let's just go kill some people. I apologize for you having to witness this. Oh my god, dude. They take so much damage when they're cursed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oops. Expelliarmus. Put that shit down. Bitch. No, this really is too much. You like it? You Stay having a good close. time? I've handled much worse. Another boiler. This place is more complex Bobata. than I had expected. Confringo. I just realized, though, it's hard to spread my curse around because I'm killing the sons of bitches so fast. I wonder if the boiler powers the lever. Another schematic. Revelio. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Okay. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Akio. I did something. But I think I saw where we need to go. To get that one chest. Maybe. Ba -da -da. Maybe not. Revelio. It's one chest. Another chest. No, this isn't it. It was good, though. Look. Little paintings. All right, I'm. Who was this? Almost walked by forty one gold. A little some up here. A little some in that hole over there. My W key is struggling. Rebellion. Can we go through here? We can. <laughs> Keep up with me. You coming? Yeah. Goblins will finally rule over wizards. Really? That's crazy you think that. 
Do I? What you gonna do about it? Whoops. Can I do something? What's somebody's ass at? Come on. Let's get this over with. Pitch! Pitch! I won't rest. Rubber and White's coming back this way. Spread! Spread! What is this? Yeah! <laughs> Oops, sorry, I tried to pick you up. Ouch. Oops. How many of them are there? That, that should be the last of them, I'll meet. We've killed everyone, I meet. Congratulations. You're a murderer. Revelio. You're an absolute murderer. Another eyeball door. Another one of these fucking things to pull. Akio. Is it being powered? Another boiler. Revelio. Everything looks good. Ah. Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? <laughs> nope. Nope. I mean, we did kill everyone, but. Confringo. There you go. Now it's powered. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lobcock what we found. Not so fast, interlopers. That's what I expect. Akio. I hit the wrong button. Oh, there's the damn, okay. Revelio. The question is, do I go back to try to find that one chest? There's another chest. It looks like we're going up toward that stuff. So maybe this is the right direction. <laughs> See you later, bitch. Oh, I need a moment. Wow, to catch you breath. got some skills. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Kind of useless is what you were. Rebellion. Ooh. Excuse me? I mean, check Aloha this out. Mora. I know how to Aloha Mora. Wow, this was a shitty lock. It was literally unlocked <laughs> from the get-go. This is called Revenue. breaking and entering. I mean, I've committed murder. Ooh, the graph one looks sick. So much moonstone in here. Revelio. We're almost out of here, Armit. Look, the lift. Look. A welcome sight indeed. All right, I think we missed one chest. Not, not too bad. Not too shabby. Every bit of gear I got out of there fucking sucked anyway, so I imagine that gear would have sucked also. It's just what I'm telling myself, so I feel better. <laughs> Mate, how'd you get out here so goddamn fast? Um, can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. 
I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. Did he just motherfucker just sneeze on me? They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. Was this old she boy's was wife? It was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. This is Professor Fig's wife. Huh? She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you. Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? Uh, no shit. I don't want to believe it, but... I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Don't be in a hurry or anything. Just short ass legs. You know, I think I'm figuring out what, like the main reason this game like sits so well is like all the voice acting is done with such like important you know what i mean like everybody really did the damn thing when they voice acted this game hmm don't mind me i'll just be uh i hope professor Fit i believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last oh! come by spin witches as soon as you can damn right come on sebastian send me a damn owl sebastian sebastian 
Sebastian. Revelio. Um, okay. Here we go. So I'm over here. All right. So this clearly just falls down there. Okay. Watch this. Ready? I bet the damn, I bet it completes itself now. What do you think? I should investigate. Come on. <laughs> Look, I told you. I'll give it a little nudge. There we go. Boop. Not so tricky after all. Merlin. Not so tricky after all, Mr. Merlin. And while we're here, you know, it'd be a waste if we didn't. If we didn't check this out, right? Lumos. Couldn't be a trap. Certainly, it's not a trap. Revelio. Really? All of that for a measly Lumos. ass green striking turquoise cloak? Hmm. Oh, something to kill. What am I killing? Hang on. What are Rebellion. these? What is that? These little fucks. I haven't killed enough of these little fucks. I'm gonna kill some more of these little fucks. Of course. Damn, that hurts. Damn, that hurts. Look at how much this hurts. Confringo. Places. Defender. Oh, shit. Revelio. Okay. What? Have I ever figured out what these damn... What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a troll. Okay, okay. We're killing this troll, too. Quagmire troll? <laughs> Giggity. Bring your ass over here. Uh. Hey, uh... <laughs> hold that for me, bitch. <laughs> Shit off me, bitch. Places. Ah! I hit the wrong button. Bombarder. Boom, bitch! Shit off me, bitch! Hold this, motherfucker! Oh my god! Potato! Stupid one! Oh, fuck. Defender. Got him. Hmm. Hmm. Revelio. Yo, the fucking the, the ma uh, ancient magic attack while he was cursed. I be believe I could have one shot that motherfucker. I really do. Where's his boogers at? No boogers for me? Okay. Okay. Quests. Sky's the limit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll track this, but I'm going to go to Hogsmeade. No, no, no. Sorry, Matt. I'm going to go buy our broom upgrades. I wonder how much it costs. Probably way too damn much. I think I'm kind of rich. Should be able to afford it as long as it's like five thousand or less. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I have a terrible curse where I can't lift tools or do work. 
being oh did you hear that shit i have a terrible curse of which i can't Hello again. pick up tools or do work as before, of any kind shut the hell up special price on the broom upgrade for you four thousand i can i can it's your broom's acceleration and spree speed ah. you'll be thrilled with that broom i, I am thrilled you're about all this shit we're still kind of rich Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, you but do you thing? like me to yeah, report yeah, back yeah. with even more flight details? <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumors of Ramrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. All right. I look forward to our next meeting. That's what you just said. Milda, right? Do I want to do this right now? Before I... I mean, the time trial, how long does it take? Like, fucking a minute and a half? Good God damn! Yo, this bitch is out there! Now I'm excited. I've never, this is all uncharted territory. I think this is in a house. Often another oh, no. adventure of Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet Revelio. Okay. Sebastian? I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Come on, Sebastian. No, Sebastian? I'm not gonna lie, every time I get a broom upgrade, this shit feels the exact same. This castle looks sick. I feel like, yeah, there's definitely something to be done here. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Okay. Likely right. this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark. Likely. Um, should I wait? Might as well do it while I'm here, right? Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Pretty as hell up here right now, huh? Okay. Um. Looks like it's gonna be like this. Yeah. Capricornus. Think I make that jump? I'm gonna try it. Yes, bitch. Revelio. There's something else in here. Another chest down there. Can I make that jump? Huh. 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 Ooh, shit. It's just a bag. Yeah, just, just a bunch of little measly bullshit. No, not that. Who lived here, I wonder? Where the fuck is Amilda right? Why is the builder race three fucking? Wait a minute, am I tracking the right shit? The purple one. Three thousand. Um, okay, I guess. I was excited because all this is uncharted territory, but god damn. Revelio. There is so much to do in this game. God, I love this game. <laughs> I just love it. Ooh. 
I gotta fly around? Or is it gonna cut me off all together? I think I fly around. Okay. Revelio. Nice. Why am I going down? Go up. Oh no. I have to go on foot. I want to go to this. I want to go ahead and get that fast travel point so I can come back here. But how would they expect me to get to that motherfucker? I guess through whatever this shit is here. No, this is not going to be right. Okay. I'm not going to fuck with this right now. Apparently. But I will. Go see this bitch right quick. Before. I don't get any spells from any of this stuff. Yeah. We'll go see Poppy. I don't think I... Located her on the map. Poppy's over here. Boom. Might get ourselves a snidget. The fuck is going on here? Revelio. What's this? fuck is all this did i already do this oh jack doll okay okay i also do need to get rid of this track tracking mark puppy puppy see this shit this this broom is not faster It's dangerous as hell out here. I can do this. They will want to help. Oh, okay. We're going to see the centaurs. That's right. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Uh-oh. Once we tell them about the snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. <laughs> I don't know shit. I hope they can tell we're sincere, but Poppy, centaurs are just centaurs. They can't read your mind any better than I could. Perhaps you're right. It's just... Never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... We've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- Uh-oh. Um... How y'all doing? Everybody good? What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. You're about to get fucked up if you want this. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. 
From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. Oh. Um... They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <laughs> Sheesh! All these motherfuckers need to put shirts on. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me before Golden I... Golden Sidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? This motherfucker got skin cancer on his back for goddamn sure. In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. That was easy. I'm gonna bring that motherfucker back some understand. sunscreen too. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Who the fuck knows? Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. All right, I trust that dude. He was annoying, but... I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. Oh, God damn it! It's another part of a quest? I'll let you know what I find. Revelio. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in this Huh? What the fuck are you talking about trolls? Check out another damn one of these right here. Look at this. Knowing the meat, he's likely studied here. What is that? Are those hippogriffs? Can't see. I think I'm pretty sure it's a hippogriff. It's a hippogriff. All right. I need to spin this there and then a little bit bigger. Bitch. There. Draco. Should be number five. Should unlock a little something. A little challenge action. Which one was it? Astronomy tables. Oh, wow. A new scarf. Amazing. Um. We'll go to quests. I think old girl had something. Ain't nowhere to teleport near her ass. I'm gonna teleport here because if I teleport to Hogsmeade, I have to run on foot. Run, 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 run. It actually still might be faster. I'll teleport here. And then run out the back. Hogsmeade, here I come. Mm -hmm. Here I come, Hogsmeade. There I come. Here I go. I'm leaving. <sighs> See you later, dragon. Can I take off from up here? I should be able to, right? Please? Uh, Fuck it. I'll kill my damn self. Let's go. <gasps> I was kidding. <laughs> I was kidding. 
Come on! <laughs> Natty! Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? Yes. For damn sure. Let's go. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Fair. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. All right, we Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. <laughs> I think this is faster than running, right? Louder, that's for damn sure. What are you doing up here? Mrs. Huh? Rabe should be nearby. You need to pronounce that with a B a little a little harder. Oh, you... Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles, and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Mm. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us. But now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. We'll be all right. Give me ample time to reach a decision. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. Shall we expect a response by weekends? Best to keep this between us. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. It'll be fine. Now, to find Mr. Bickles' other two friends. It'll be fine. Wonderful ones, <laughs> <laughs> Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check. Uh, but, but, but please tell me you didn't take it. But Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man, but even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you-know-who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? 
'Twas a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six uh -oh. months. Uh-oh. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every oh, so often. Oh, his shit is nothing. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Okay. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. One more over We're here. On the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. <laughs> Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Maybe like right here? Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. Hmm. You should have said something, pussy. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But uh, perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate. I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. Alrighty then. Run, 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 run. Teleport. Teleport. Oh God, but broke my dick. Teleport. Teleport. I don't know if that's faster than running, but it's damn sure a lot more annoying. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Oh, God. Just because you know who might. Natty must be around here somewhere. 
Revelio. Oh shit, Natty, I'll find you in a second. I got a chest. And the Hogshead Docks page. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Oh, Revelio shit. will show me where she was taken. Yeah, because Revelio's never showed footprints until now. Excuse me, motherfucker. Ooh. Natty, I'll be there in a second, girl. Give me one second. Fuck, I can't. I need to mark this so I remember there's one in here. Where am I at? Okay, put that right there. Nosy little students Rebellion. what's coming to them. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there's a satellite here. I need to find her quickly. Y'all about to get fucked up. The footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. I mean like that. Akio. You mean double like that? The hidden door. Revelio. How absolutely brilliant. Hmm. Yes. Matthew must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. To be sure I'm not seen. What? I gotta be stealthy? Well, I don't love that. I was surprised how much jewelry she had. It's not for the work. You should know this fight. That one's coming for her. We ought to just kill her. Only a whole student would be able to. Did I miss something in here? Oh, yeah, it's a wig and rub potion. Got it. You're probably right. Revelio. I don't mind breaking a few bones if there's a few galleons in it for me. Why do I always end up on patrol duty? All right, I want to see if I can actually fight. If we fail instantly. Crazy bitch! Explosion! Oh shit. Oh, what's the lot? Please, get off me. Quite bitch. Expulsion. Oh. Executioners, they prepare their lightning spell. Okay. Come on, do your lightning. Oh shit. Yo, yeah, where the fuck did you come from? Nice teleport. What the fuck? Where'd this bitch go? Oh! Where'd your wand go? Bitch, come here. Her little teleporting shit is kind of dope, huh? Who's running? Damn! Revelio. All right, fuck stealth, by the way. You love to see it. What am I hearing? Deuteronomy's Augury. Oh, this is his letter. The book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Okay. 
I'm gonna find everything. Huh? Revelio. Uh, uh, Revelio. It's gonna be something? Nah. Stairs, which I don't care about right now. That's a good chest right here. Uh. This place has so much shit in it. Revelio. The painting action. Looks like we've cleaned out the first floor. Time to go upstairs. My darling Otto, I've read your last letter over and over and I'm certain to read it again each hour until we are able to meet. I dread the notion that I will not see you soon, but I am not without hope. I long for the day that our engagement can be shared with those whom we love, especially my dear father. I do not wonder at your hey, waiting. Hey. But, uh, I thought somebody saw me, scared the shit out of me. Anyway, blah, 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 I love you, good. Good job. Also Tipple's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Hmm. Gotta use the mandrake, one second. Uh. Hey, fellas. You doing okay? What was that? What was it? Nobody knows. Oh! Ah! Oh, holy shit! Oh, hey! Knew you. God damn! Revelio. It's another way up. There's a little chest for action. Okay, we got all the shit we needed to get, so now we can go this way. That he must be here somewhere. Hey, yo, bitch! You found us. I knew you would realize I had left my one for you. Speak to Mr. Hello, Hamora. He will tell you what you need to do. Yo, this thing was this chest was hidden and locked. And had somebody's wand in it oh the dude okay oh so where's this bitch at i need your help revelio are you in here okay there you are okay i got you on bro mr rape daisy told me you've been abducted you spoke with my wife how is she worried about you you're dressed kind of nice right? i am all right thank you for coming that tie is fire. And there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. I could easily open this door for you if you'd like. What's he gonna cast? Listen. That was incredibly Rebellion. uneventful. Go let her out. Confringo. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Yeah. Very well. 
but be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. I killed everybody already, just so you know. Just so you know. But I'm down to kill them again. Hmm. Look how easy this was. Um. Oh, yeah. I'm having a little snack while I play. Huh. But I had like a shield, so I couldn't jump through there. Surprised she didn't say, oh. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow. What? You killed everybody already. Wow. Oh, she was waiting on us? Well, damn. Nets I own I. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. If you do your goddamn job... With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. This bitch is involved. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. This bitch is in on it. Nobody trusts your dumb ass. My, my man just jumped. Now, dummy guys. So high. Jump. 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 Why won't he jump? All right, cool. My now, dummy guys. Yoink. Can I get rid of this shit? I can go to quests. Let's go see what this bitch has to say. I've got nothing nearby. Where is this at? Map chamber. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I need to go to this and then map chamber there we go it's the old headmistress not the uh not the current one open <coughs> what's up girl back. hello professor I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. 
You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Um, we tried to get in there before. Remember we needed a password, which we don't have? How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Okay, good. Because I damn sure don't. Ooh, poly juicy booty. Poly juicy booty. Um, where are you at? In his office. Put this. And then look at all these. A lot of side quests there. We'll go. We will go to this one. Revenge. Oh, lock. I wish I could see what level it was through the wall. This is a great deal of running about. What is this? Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student. Hmm. That was me. That was me. You're mine now, demiguys. Mine now, demiguys. Told you. What's up, freak? I mean, Fig? Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's why she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. All right. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I've actually met Scrope, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew. It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, Once again, I don't trust you. Essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Through the mask, too. Oh, fuck. Oh, Taco Bell shits. Hmm. Yes. I'm feeling old. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope. 
who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> hmm. As you were. Um. Certainly I've... Hmm. <laughs> Notice he didn't say it. They didn't record all the spell lines as him because they didn't expect you to cast spells. Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, oh, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion and I, well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. <laughs> I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils <laughs> you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. What could the headmaster want? What could the headmaster want? Nothing. I'm leaving. Just passing through. Christmas bows? It's Christmas th mm. I better see Christmas trees inside. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you have. <gasps> Christmas trees! Can't catch bees! Mr. Black. <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm good, Ominous. Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes! Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste, uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. I think he... I think he's going to know. He's very... <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Professor, a word? Mm-hmm. Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I... Good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> Good day, Madam Kagawa. Got her. What 
did we do to deserve him as a head? You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. Yo, I'm snacking my little ass off right now in real life. Mm. I thought about transferring to Called Munchy Mix. Oh, it's the headmaster and he's coming this way. Hey! Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs <laughs> are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? What? Professor Bl Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Uh-oh. People are seeing through my damn... My ruse, my guys, hell out the way. Don't mind me. Where the fuck is this little piece of shit going? Hey -oh. I can't do it. It's Professor Black. Go suck my balls. Uh, I can't do any of this stuff. Maybe when I leave. Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. Professor, a word, Oh, please. fuck. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess, I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. <laughs> I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. What? <clears throat> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good! Good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Well, that didn't go smoothly. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, Seth, what the f Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his house elf. Ahem! Attention, students! I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the stunning banners of Slytherin. I shall be taking no questions at this time. <laughs> or ever. Yeah, bitch! Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh. But Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. Fuck. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, 
Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> oh, very well. Uh, toujours pure. Uh, there is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. Uh, <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? Uh, uh, rubbish. <laughs> Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. Ah. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. The I'm burping. Use potions wearing off. I best get out of sight. I'm burping. Oh God, I'm burping. Oh, I'm about to puke. Oh, I'm throwing up. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Very, very nice. But first, we have to go back and do what I wanted to do. It's Leviosa. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? No. Nope. Leviosa. Nope, I do not. As a matter of fact, gotta do this. Hopefully, this thing's still in here. Yes, it is. Bop. Very nice. Then we go in here. Hello, Hamora. Rebellion. Ah, don't mind if I do pick up some shitty ass sh shit. Another chest outside the walls. How's it going? You want me to help hey, you? It's me, Gareth. Good. Do you have a moment? No, I do not. I'm on a very important mission. Why was this key just sitting here chilling? Um. Okay. Maybe I followed it down earlier, but didn't finish it. I don't remember. All right. Go. Already been in there, right? No, we haven't. Oh! Rebellion. Okay, so there's the upside down one, which is 19. So we've got nine plus three, so 12. So we need seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need a nut sack with arms on this. There's the other one, which is 15 plus 2, 17, and we need 23, so we need 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We need a salamander. Bop. Ow. Wonderful. Wonderful. That was a nice desk. Revelio. Yeah. Up we go. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. How have I been up here before, but I didn't get that clue? I don't understand. You remember I've been up here, hundred percent. Cause I've got this fucking flu. Running. This is that weird hallway. There's a, there's a hidden room Rebellion. right here. See this? Huh. Cascades must have scurvy. 
Divination. This is a hell of a chest, too. Eh. I need to look. While I'm running down this hall, I need to look for. No, there's no other rooms. Oh, there's a butterfly. Oh, this goes up top. Lumos. Bring your eyes. What level is this? Three. Jeez. Please don't go nowhere. Butterfly. Pretty sure this is where it went. Pretty sure it was in here somewhere, right? Over here? Yep. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Ta-da! Um, respect to Patronum. Toujours pure. Oh, shit. I thought it was going to give me the key to go to the under end of the room. But no. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Revelios. Sleeping portraits. Not all headmasters in their day to day. Some prefer. Break your ass up. There's all kinds of shit above us. Revelio. Sorting hat lives up here? What if I was to wear that? Oh, come on, level three. I knew it was going to be level three. Fuck. Oh, there's so much shit back there, too. Level two, maybe? Yes, bitch. Alohomora. Ta-da! Alohomora. Ooh, shit. Revelio. Excuse me, why would you make me unlock a level two to access a level three? That seems butt nasty. That seems butt nasty. It's good to see you. Thank All you. thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. All right. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Revelio. Teratonic mustache wax, pomade, comb, back scratcher, doxyside. Something's dinging. Oh, it's behind that fucking door. That's right. Piece of shit. That must be the pedestal. Hello, book. Fuck. Well, I don't think I expected that. Where am I? Oh my god, this is Professor so Fitzgerald. sick! Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. Oh man, this is so fucking dope. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. This is so sick. This the reminds first me. You will need is a cloak. All right, relax. I'm trying to talk. All right. Back in the day, the first Turok. All right. I remember like very vividly there were codes that changed like the texture pack and there was a Turok mode that you could change to this and I always thought it was the coolest shit in the world. This is so dope.
In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Okay. Well, that one's pretty obvious. Oh, shit. Um... Okay, good. Can I go through here? I cannot. Don't mind me. Just gonna uh, uh, sneak through here. There we go. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. Jeez. They're gone. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Fuck my ass. Oh, I can't cast. I need to time this just right. You mean now? God, this is fucking cool. Oh, fuck. Y'all don't see no birds. I see a staircase straight ahead. Come on, go fuck off somewhere. There you go. <laughs> oh, shit. You don't see nothing. Woo. I already know what the thumbnail of this video is going to be. I'm going to get her to draw it like this. Oh, it's going to be so sick. How could this happen? A ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Oh shit. Perhaps you should hurry the hell up. There we go. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. I'd best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. You mean like now? Oh shit. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Turn around. Fuck off. Yeah, it's a pile of stinking ass bodies. And now you fuck off. Please. There you go. Ooh, shit. Hey, Death. How you doing, brother? Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. Um. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Oh, shit! That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> that door closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Hey there, fella. There you go. Come on, me. Oh, fuck my ass. You can't see me here, right? You're not coming out here, right? There you go. Now's my chance. Mm -hmm. I'm already taking it. See you bitches later.
Oh shit. That's the way forward. Oh, we made it. Was this the uh cloak of visibility? Can this be? Yes! I think I'm invisible. Which way you want me to go now? Through this door? Back the way I came? Straight through this gate? I'm invisible, bitch. You can't see shit. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If I get all three of the this Deathly the Hallows. Finally free. Now, Death can't touch me. Eve? Yo, can I take this cloak out with me if you don't mind? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. It is we the Deathly the Hallows. You see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Are we about to fuck people up? I am become death. I've never felt such power. Where my spells at? Oh, there they are. Bombarded. Oh, yes. Think you can take me, Death? Revelio. Well, now we're Revelio and any chests? I don't think so. Okay. There's no looting here, just fighting. Hey, doing all right? Get the whole fuck off of the building. The fuck off the cliff, bitch. Uh huh. You know, there has to be a mod that lets you play through the entire game like this. Right? Has to be. Another fight? But well, hello, bitch. Oh, fuck. Shut off me, dog. more oh shit <laughs> i gotta interrupt to charge a mongrel with the pulsa come on mongrel come on oh fuck come on you do something there you go i didn't stop him wait a minute which one's the pulsa that's the sendo All right, all right. Do some bitch. Dog, do some. I interrupted him. All right, I'm done. Fuck off, you bitch. Come 
Ascender, Defender, Bombarder, Depulsor. Revelio. I don't know why I wasn't working on the dog. Repulso, Depulso, Nimpulsto. This is so much fun. Okay. Okay. Um. Somebody hit me with something. Come on. You're dead. You just caught all of them. Defender, bombarder. Where y'all at, by the way? Where you at, death? I'll whoop your ass too. Back. Oh, fuck. You're dead. This is the coolest shit in the world. Uh, uh, uh. So what is the next one? The resurrection stone or the, uh, yeah. The cloak, the wand and the stone. simple stone this must be for me <laughs> yep so it's super simple oh <gasps> yo tell me that ain't what uh we found with sebastian kind of it looked i mean it was different right it was like dark but it was like the dark version of this finished pass through the mourners ahead nothing is what it seems she's gone Neve's dead dear sweet Neve dead <laughs> Neve why we won't be the same without her oh shit so death uh You don't mind me death. I'll just be bringing this bitch back to life. This is fucking sick. You found me. 
But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Okay. Am I cool to follow you now? Thank you. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Oh, nice. About to get another memory. Yo, this was so fucking cool. Remember that as you witness my memory. This is so much cooler than uh, just doing another one of those same shits where I fight the big gargoyle at the end. Like this is, this was sick. What you got for me, girl? They've all been crying too. I don't know if you noticed. you did for your father was remarkable wasn't it and Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves I found a way to contain all of it you haven't stopped goblin silver you spoke to a goblin about this don't worry he has no idea what we're containing we don't know what effect any of this may have the emotions the dark traits you sound like Percival and as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Oh, Niamh, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. I wonder what she took. Hmm. Uh oh. I gotta get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> that was so cool, by the way. My favorite mission so far in the game. It was super sick. Oh, we get the last, the last keeper. We haven't met this guy, Is I don't think. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Handsome? Dumb. I know. I know. <laughs> you must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. That was kind of sick, to be honest. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, 
The knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. Okay. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? Yep. She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That she's gotta one step ahead of us. She's gotta have the Green big Gons, ones. The Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Well, that'll explain why he was acting crazy. Yeah, that was sick, by the way. Can I finish the mission? Yeah, bitch. Now, what would make me happier than anything is if Sebastian's like, Yo, what up, fam? I got some dope shit. You want to come see it? You want to come see my uncircumcised penis? <laughs> yes, let's go! So to your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we Woo! started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. Oh, what did I tell you? You don't have shit to say? <laughs> you, you don't have nothing to say? Oh, come on. You know what would make me so hype? It's when I hollow... What's this? Speak with Deke. We got a new Deke. Yeah, she popped up and said nothing. Like, I don't even have a quest for that dumb bitch. Card level, we need Bombarda. But I don't get... Hmm. Okay. You already know the deal. Here's what we do at the end of every video, okay? We go here. We identify our new gear. And we end the video and prepare Pete for the next. Has some exciting Blink. news to share. Oh, that mask is fucking sick! You see it? We got a better uniform and a better mask. Yo. Please tell me this looks as good as it feels like it could look. This is Okay. A little it's a little better. Yo. We have to rock this, right? It doesn't match our outfit at all, but we don't give a shit. Uh that's what I'm talking about. New outfit was better, right? We're wearing... This is the same. 77. This is 79. This is better. We just got to upgrade it again. That's fine. These are green. Still give a shit. These is going to suck. Yep. These clearly suck. Why is this going away? You see it? Okay, it's gone. I did get a new handle. I kind of like that. Yeah, we'll rock that for now. It matches the corkscrew of my thing. Okay, now we shall. Actually, let's see what this bitch's letter said that we couldn't read. Who was it? It was this bitch. Had to be this one. Okay, so she was telling me to speak to Deke. All right, got it. Okay, so we have to go upgrade the mask and what else? 
our clothes, right? These. Okay. We still don't have graph horn, so we can't. Oh, okay. And we also need to put traits on these. Once again, we're going to put... Unforgivable, because that shit was slapping. Bop. Now, just because we're here chilling, I may mess around with the way this looks to try to match my mask a little bit more, okay? That's what we're going to do. Let's find a robe. I don't want to go to... I want to do like a... That's actually kind of sick. I want to do a red outfit underneath, but something darker on the outside. I just don't like this, right? It's too gross, but it does kind of match. Let's just let's have that for now. It kinda, does that look kind of sick? If I'm not mistaken? I feel like this with no coat would look kind of badass too. Let me go see that. Yo. That looks kind of nice, right? That looks kind of nice. I look like a swashbuckler more than a wizard. Then I could get like the dopest scarf you ever seen. That ain't it. This is like some shit straight out of a damn anime, but. Honestly, out of all of these, I think I like this one the best. What do we think? It's a definitely a different look, right? We've been looking the same kind of the whole game, so I don't mind changing it up a little bit. We actually might can fuck with a hat now, too. Let's see. Yo. We're about to be cool as shit. <laughs> but we got to find something. Something is going to work, right? Howdy, partner. Nah. Honestly, they all just look so dumb. Did I look at all these? There we go. I'm not going to rock it, but I don't hate this one. That's not bad, though. I might change my gloves because these don't really match anymore. Not quite as much. I still want one with all those knuckles and shit on it, but I just got to find one that looks a little better with the outfit. Like these, I think. There we go. You see the brass look on that matches all my buckles and stuff. That may be, these may be the ones I just had on, if I'm honest. I can't be sure. But we that's a definitely a different look now. This is a sick out like just I wish there was a better coat that showed off that like a just a vest. Actually there might be. They all Yeah, they're all long sleeve.
Ooh. Maybe that? That way we can still rock something? Yeah, we're like a damn... Like Zoro. I'm down. I love it. Yes. Now we still got some little flowy action, but you can still see our whole outfit. I'm down. This is this is sick. We have upgraded to our final form. Okay. Well, we're looking sexy. We're gonna apparently get a damn phoenix next next episode. And uh, let me know what you think of the new outfit, and I'll catch you then. All right. The mask is just too fitting. It's perfect. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room.